Learning model parameters, we now move on to the third problem, learning hidden Markov models from data. The approach is a maximum likelihood, and we would like to calculate the lambda star that maximizes the likelihood of the sample of training sequences x equals to the set O to the k, and where this k is indexed from 1 to capital K, namely the probability of uh, x conditioning on lambda. We start by defining a new variable that will become handy later on. We define a x a t of i t as the probability of being in s i at time t and in s j at time t plus 1, given the whole observation O and lambda such that x a t of i t is equal to uh, defined as the probability of q t equals to s i and q t plus 1 equals to s j conditioning on O and lambda, which can be computed as, say, figure 15.4, that uh, x a t of i t is defined as the probability of q t equals to s i and q t plus 1 equals to s j conditioning on O lambda. If we expand the definitions of the conditional probability, there will be the probability of O conditioning on qt equals to si qt plus 1 equals to sj and lambda uh, times the probability of uh, qt equals to si and qt plus 1 equals to sj conditioning on lambda alone then divided by the probability of O conditioning on lambda What's the rest of it? If we expand uh, the numerator there will be the probability of O conditioning on qt equals to si and qt plus 1 equals to sj lambda times the probability of qt plus 1 equals to sj uh, conditioning on qt equals to si and lambda times the probability of qt equals to si conditioning on lambda divided by the probability of O conditioning on lambda. That will be equals to 1 divided by the probability of O conditioning on lambda times the probability of O1, O2, O3 until OT conditioning on qt equals to si lambda times the probability of ot plus 1 conditioning on qt plus 1 equals to sj and lambda and times the following terms the probability of ot plus 2 ot plus 3 and so on until o capital t conditioning on qt plus 1 equals to sj lambda times aij times the probability of qt equals to si conditioning on lambda. That is, equals to 1 divided by the probability of O conditioning on lambda times the probability of O1, O2, O3 until OT and qt equals to si conditioning on lambda times the probability of OT plus 1 conditioning on qt plus 1 equals to sj lambda. Then times the probability of OT plus 2, OT plus 3 and so on until uh, O capital T conditioning on qt plus 1 equals to sj lambda then times aij okay so if we combine uh, these terms together that will be as follows uh, equals to alpha t of i times bj of ot plus 1 times beta t plus 1 of j times aij divided by the following doubling summation uh, in the The doubling summations of sum, summing O index K and summing for O index L of the term. Uh, probability of QT equals to SK and uh, QT plus 1 equals to SJ and O conditioning on lambda, which is equals uh, S, QT plus 1 equals to SL and O conditioning on lambda. And uh, if we don't change the the numerator and the numerator and the denominator uh, alpha t of i times equals to is equals to alpha t of i times aij times bj of ot plus 1 times beta t plus 1 of j then divided by again the doubling summation summing for all k and also summing for all l of the term alpha t of k times a k l times b l of ot plus 1 times beta t plus 1 of l 
Okay, now we have uh, new variables and also new terms introduced, so we will explain it here. Uh, alpha t of i explains the first t observations and ends in a state s i at time t. We move on to state s j with the probability a i j generate the t plus first observation and continue from s j at time t plus first to generate the rest of the sub observation sequence. We normalize by dividing for all such possible pairs that can be visited at time t and at t plus one. Now, if we want. We can also calculate the probability of being in state SI at time t by marginalizing over the arc probabilities for all possible next states. That is, gamma t of i, this is a new term, gamma t of i is equal to uh, sigma, summing for all j starting from 1 to n, of xt of ij, all those xt of ij for the same i, but summing for all t, and we call this gamma t of i. Note that if we, if uh, the Markov model were not hidden but observable, both the gamma t of i and the x t of i j will be zero or one. So in this case, when they are not, we estimate them with a posterior probability that gives us soft accounts. This is just like the difference between supervised classification and unsupervised clustering, where we did and did not know the class labels, respectively. Uh, in unsupervised clustering using EM, which is in section 7.4, not knowing the class labels, we estimated them first in the E step and calculated the parameters with these estimates in the M step. Similarly, here we have the bone wealth algorithm, which is an EM procedure. At each iteration, first in the E step, we computed the uh, XAT of IJ and the gamma T of I values given the current lambda equals to A, B, pi. And then in the M step, we recalculate lambda given the XAT of IJ and gamma T of I. These two steps are alternated until convergences during which it has been shown that the probability of O conditioning on lambda never decreases. Assume an indicator variable z i t to the t as the following. z i to the t is equal to 1 if q t is equal to s i, z i to the t is equal to 0 otherwise, and z i j to the t is equal to 1 if q t equals to s i, and q t plus 1 is equal to s j z i j to the t is equal to 0 otherwise. And these are 0, 1 in the case of an observable Markov model and are hidden random variables in the case of an HMM. In this later case, we estimate them in the E step as the expectations of a z i to the t equals to gamma t of i and the expectations of z i j to the t equals to uh, x t of i j. In the M step, we calculate the parameters given these estimated values. The expected number of transitions from SI to SJ is sigma summing for OT of uh, X at T of IJ, and the total number of transitions from SI is uh, sigma T of gamma T of I. The ratio of these two gives us the probability of transition from SI to SJ at any time. That is uh, AIJ to the head is equal to sigma, summing for all t starting from 1 to capital T minus 1, of uh, uh, x at t of ij divided by sigma, again summing for index t starting from 1 to capital T minus 1, of gamma t of i. Note that this is the same as equation 15.9, except that the actual counts are replaced by estimated soft counts. The probability of observing vm in sj is the expected number of times vm is observed when the system is in sj over the total number of times the system is in sj. That is, bj of m to the head is equal to sigma of uh, gamma t of j times the one function, where one indicator function is, val is um, for verify whether ot is equal to vm or not. And uh, sigma is summing for ot starting from 1 to capital T divided by sigma of gamma 
t of j summing with index t starting from 1 to capital T. When there are multiple observation sequences that x is equal to the set of o to the k, where k is the index starting from 1 to capital K, and which we assume to be independent, that is the probability of x conditioning on lambda is equal to pi, again pi for o k with index k starting from 1 to capital K, of the probability of O to the K conditioning on lambda. Okay, now the parameters. We talk about the parameters aij to the hat, bj hat of m, and pi i to the hat. The parameters are now averages over all observations in all sequences, that is, aij to the hat is equal to doubling summation, summing for OK and summing for O t starting from 1 to t k minus 1 of uh, x at t to the k of i j divided by the again doubling summation summing for ok and summing for ot starting from 1 to uh, t k minus 1 of uh, gamma t to the k of i uh, and bj hat of m is doubling summation uh, summing for almost a similar term summing for ok starting from 1 to capital k and uh, summing for OT starting from 1 to TK, not TK minus 1. And uh, of the term, gamma T to the K of J times one functions of uh, OT to the K equals to VN or not, divided by doubling summation. Again, summing for OK and summing for OT, where this time the index T starts uh, stopped at the capital TK also, not at capital TK minus 1, of the term gamma T to the K of J. Now pi i to the hat is equal to sigma summing for all gamma L to the K of i summing for all index K starting from 1 to capital K divided by capital K.